man. These are these are cele- um, athletes, yeah. and then taking on some what, YouTube bloke. Yeah, and he's never even heard of this YouTube bloke. Yeah, yeah. Um, I even caught out. Okay, big day in the office today. It's fight season, baby. This guy's from Western Sydney too. What's up? He knows all about it. Uh, now, seriously, we've got uh, Mark Hunt coming in now in the next probably five or ten minutes. And then this afternoon, we're going to be going to the Rockdale PCYC to do some training with Tim Zhu. Watch him do it. Do a little interview. Get after it. Going to be a good day, baby. Let's go. Mark, how are you, mate? How are you doing? Hey, Luke. 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 Nice to meet you. How are you? Camera work and all the... Um, oh, no. And on the bikes for us because I used to play footy and don't know how to do any of that stuff, bro. So, <laughs> got to have the brains behind it all, you know? Why can't you? It's an acronym for You Know The Rules. Oh. So, uh, I don't know if you know the backstory behind it. Um, Isaac, um, Corey, Isaac, John, Corey Norman, and James Sigiaro, all boys that played footy before. They used to have like a hashtag, like, you know, if you, if you go. You. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's me. I'm doing the uh, content for the sports side of it now because they branched off. They did really well with the clothing company and they've branched off into like a sports side now. So, we're trying to. Being at all ex-footy players, we're trying to um, like promote the boys in a better way. You know, sometimes you know, Are they having of cool. Yeah, and then just get let the boys tell the stories in their own way rather than being dictated by the, some of the other bigger ones. Yeah, yeah. So it's been working out good for us, man. Yeah. Building a, a bit of a following behind us, and I know Timmy's back in the day at Manly, so I appreciate the boys coming in, eh? Knocked out that he's famous for, and like I said, he's talked about underdogs. He talked about the Queensland team. We've got a couple of mates that played for Queensland, called him the worst, the worst Queensland team of all time. So, Gal, after the OG knocks you out, come and catch these hands too, baby. Let's go. <laughs> hey, there you go. No, don't get about that. Don't about that. He's calling you out. Right? He's calling you out. He's calling you out. I got you. Big <laughs> Let's go. Thanks for coming on, brother. All right, man. Appreciate Thanks, it. Man. Okay, just wrapped up with Mark Hunt. Um, like I said on my post, proper fanboy moment that. Uh, crazy, he was unreal, so calm, so relaxed. He's about that life. Um, I even caught out Paul Gallon too on it, baby, because what's up? I'm about that life. So this, huh? Now we're gonna go see Tim Zhu at Rockdale PCYC Gym. Um, I think we're just gonna do a little vlog with him, a little chat, uh, watch him train for a little bit. Try and get the Ryan Garcia in there. Oh, and maybe, yeah, see if we can do the Ryan Garcia where he rips into me. Um, and I think Simmy's gonna come, might be a giggle. I wanna fucking, I wanna knock that cunt out too. So hopefully, like me and Simmy can get after it, baby. What's up? All right, so we're here, Tim Zhu. Actually, it's Costa, Zoo, Costa Zoo's uh, Boxing Academy, isn't it? At the uh, PCYC Rockdale. The Rockdale PCYC, so. Get ready to come and do some content yeah, with Tim. Uh, See how it goes, yeah. baby. Then seeing some within my lifetime, my light shine bright. Protect your energy from poison when a python strike. My first mistake was doing robberies on Nikon bikes. Watch my moves and I'ma show you what an icon like. Y'all let bygones be bygones, right? Your truce, bust your move. And if that touch your shoes, you better blast on them. And no my mama, I'ma get that cash on them. Hunting on a dash on them. So, well, well, look, man, this, this gym's quite old school. There's... It's quite simple. All you need is a boxing ring, boxing bag, and a, and a mirror. Look, yeah, the, the mirrors are dirty, <laughs> full of sweat. Yeah. This is my dad's. This is my dad's wall. Um, most of all, his fights. Do you, ever, do you ever wipe that down or just leave it there? Uh, I think we, I think we do. I think we do wipe it down <laughs> at times, but been lazy. <laughs> I'm working. Word. So what's the what's the plan too now for training just today in particular? Well, man, just the same stuff. I got spa, my last spa tomorrow, so I'm not gonna go. Too hard out today, but um, I think I got pads. My my coach is coming in later. Um, just sharpening up now. Tim, thanks for kind of letting, letting us come in, bro. How's uh, how's camp been going so far, bro? Yeah, everything's all right. Um, well, it's the final stretches now, so I'm, I'm quite excited and ready to go. Yeah, and uh, we're just saying uh, we just informed you that you know they had a little chat to Bowen this morning. He's talking talking about his stylistic and how he's gonna how he's gonna fight and he wants to get inside. Mm-hmm. What's your thoughts on that? The funny thing is, every one of my opponents have said the exact same thing. And uh, I'm an all-rounder fighter. I can do any, everything. Yeah. Anything. So I'll be I'll be ready. Don't worry. 
Yeah, and we'll, I think we'll, we'll touch on the Jeff Horn fight a little bit later on. It looked like he was trying to get in a fair bit too and, and rest a little bit in there. But like you said, your style tends to keep him away. You like to look, keep poking you, him. Look, you've you got to know how to do everything in boxing. If you yeah. want to be in the inside, you can, you've got to know how to fight on the inside. If you, you want to fight on the outside, you've got to know how to fight on the outside. If you only know one thing, you're limited. And um, if you only know one thing and that's to come on the inside, you, you, you're going to be in a world of trouble. Yeah. Um, speaking of speaking of knowing about everything, what does a how does this camp look for you? How, how long does a, a camp last for you? And then what's it like for the preparation and sort of like the last week or so, like where we're at now? So, man, in all honesty, I haven't really had a camp. It's just been non-stop all year round. So I've just been getting myself ready. Um, I didn't have any time off after the horn fight anyway. Yeah. So my fitness is there. I've always maintained them. I'm, I'm learning new things every day in the gym. Um, so, look, right now it's the finishing touches, my last spa tomorrow, so um, let's say come fight night, I'll be, I'll be ready. Yeah, and look at this gym, like you get a little bit of sweat going in here as soon as you come in, I've got a little bit of sweat coming off the forehead now. <laughs> and now, so we see you run on the beach too, so you're always running and, and keeping fit that way, is that something you love to do? Is that Man. implemented into boxing or is that just something you, you like to do? Going for a morning run and a morning swim, Yeah. there's nothing, there's nothing better in life. Um, wakes you up, you feel good. Um, my, my runs aren't the, the type of vacation runs. Yeah. I push yeah, myself. Yeah, you're fine. I'll, see you. <laughs> I'll be sitting, I'm sitting, I'm sitting <laughs> next door, brother, seeing you run past, I'm enjoying my brekkie while I'm sitting, you're fine. Yeah, so I'm pushing myself. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, I've been doing it from, since, since a young age, so it's nothing new to me. Yeah, and I've seen you from a young age as well. You touched on, you've got a bit of a soccer football background as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there any rugby league? Because we're, you know, obviously we're a rugby league background. Man, I, I, you ever play I rugby love, league around I love my sports. I've yeah. always played all, all sports. I love basketball as well. Yeah. Um, but that's, I went to I went to school and um, at school we played we played rugby. I did it for one year. Yeah. Uh, we played union though. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you know what? I remember the first time I got tackled. I was like, you know what? I freaking punched in the face. Yeah. Hurts less. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, really. Like, no. Getting tackled, know that, getting tackled hurts it's much more. Like, it's weird how we got like different mentalities. Like that just seems normal because I've, I've done it for so long, but to hear you say that. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, I don't want to get punched when in the face. First, when I first got tackled, I was like, you know what? This feels uncomfortable. I need to, I need to throw, some, throw some punches. Yeah. <laughs> and, but the, and the soccer stuff though, um, I read that you know you got to a pretty decent level there, and you sort of like had to make a decision at one point. Look, I'm, I was never a, a team player. Yeah, I've always I've always wanted to take the full responsibility on myself. So, um, soccer I always loved. Uh, it's such a great sport to play. Uh, but then again, for me, for myself, I, I like to keep it all for myself. Yeah. And just touching on that, we just had the uh, the Roy Jones and um, Mike Tyson. We'll t- mm. talk about that fight. What's your what's your thoughts on that sort of? Your thoughts on boxing, maybe at that age, and also the result, as well as how well, they both looked. They're my two favourite fighters of all time. Yeah, Roy and Tyson. So um, to watch them, your dad's come, not. Your dad's got to be up there too. Without, I can't. <laughs> of course, dad number one. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Top three. Let's yeah. just say top three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and those boys, you know, watching them now was just like a, like a, like a weird feeling. Yeah especially when they're old and you know what um, they did it more for themselves yeah. but they got fit and they had a go and you know um, it's a great lesson in life yeah. to, to put whatever you put your head to you got to keep it going and you know um, they're a true inspiration to do it at that age yeah 100% even though it wasn't the cleanest fight and the most entertaining fight the fact that they, they did camp they lost the weight uh, they got themselves into fight, really fight mode Mike yeah. Tyson looked in really good exactly shape exactly right they got themselves into fight fight mode um that's all respect yeah 100 percent. i because my introduction to boxing as well was with roy jones Jr. when i was younger dad had a my dad had a best of roy jones uh vhs tape wrap back in yeah, the day yeah. before like dvds yeah, 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 and all that yeah, yeah. sort of stuff so that's how i sort of you know grew up and enjoying boxing i, I sort of only like you know really like the, the bigger fights but but then everyone loves fucking mike tyson as oh. well so when it come back a draw and no one got hurt no one got knocked out but i was like was i was great. kind of happy yeah, as well what about the exhibition fights the the undercard there for it um, yeah. fucking Nate Robinson man, basketball I'm a, I'm a massive Nate Robinson fan I, I remember when he dunked over uh, oh so you love your big ball on that as well yeah yeah I remember when he dunked over uh, was it Dwight was it, yeah Dwight Howard it was eh? yeah. yeah in the in the slam dunk, dunk contest yeah three times three time champ yeah yeah, yeah. And it's just sad and I was always was yeah, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't like it I didn't enjoy it. especially with that YouTube guy like, yeah come on man these are these are 
cele- um, athletes yeah. and then taken on some what, YouTube bloke. Yeah, and he's never he, even heard of this YouTube bloke. What yeah, he, co- he copped a bit of flack about it from even from the basketball community, bro. And I'm like, you know, when it comes to any of this stuff, because we have footy players that sort of get in and sometimes doing that. And I'm a bit torn on it as well because mm. I appreciate, you know, what you guys do and I appreciate what we do and what it takes to get in the ring. Mm. But some of those some of those fights are a tough watch, bro. Oh. And like, so I don't know, if, coming from you, if it, if it helps some other guys get promoted, oh. like like girls are different beasts, right? I'm, I'm all for I'm all I'm all for it, you know. If, if we can get boxing mainstream, yep, which it isn't in here in Australia, um, you feel like I'm it's building, right? It. Like, okay, oh, now now yeah. now we're getting somewhere, you know. We're we're putting on big shows here in Australia. Uh, we're getting big crowds. Um, we're getting big audiences all all around Australia. Plus, we've got people viewing from all around the world. So I think it's a great thing. Yeah. And uh, touching on your, your bloodline, obviously we, talk, we we talked a little bit about your dad. Mm. How how um, how often does he speak to you when you know when you're coming up to these fights? Is he the last two weeks starts we start talking a lot. Yeah. Um, about game plans, but look, I everything's to do with my coach, with, coach with, with my grandfather. Yep. Um, they're they're the, the people behind it all, and my, my manager, of course, he's on the makes it all possible. Yeah. And then the Jeff Horn fight, you've got a couple of the big bigger fights. We're talking about the Brubaker fight and the before and the Jeff Horn fight. How did that feel to was he was he like a I don't want to be disrespectful and say a stepping stone, but it was a, a really nice fight for you to get at this point of your career. Yeah. And, well you know what, I was three and a half years into the sport yep. to fight a former world champion. Yeah. Who, who defeated Manny Pacquiao. It's a, a it's an achievement on its own. So um, it was a, it was a step that I needed in that direction. Yeah. Um, and it's only upwards from here. Yeah, that um, the in particular like the, the fifth to sort of eight eighth round yeah. where you, you sort of just really got comfortable and started putting on a bit of a clinic with him. But fuck, man, full props to him. He's he's got a he's got he's a tough, tough head, eh? Man, he's but, tough. Because he like I, I was expecting him to drop in like the fifth or sixth, and yeah, yeah, and he just kept on hanging in that's there. What, that's what Aussie boxers are. They're tough. Yeah, yeah there's, we don't have much of a boxing school here. There's a few fighters that that have got great skills, um, but most of the fighters here. They're just tough, yeah. tough and rugged, you know, so that's what they got. Yeah. And speaking of the, the other fighters here, Gail's trying to, you know, move into that next, um, sort of, after his NRL career, he started floating around doing some boxing. What's your thoughts on the fight between Gail and Hunt? Look, it's a, it's a 50-50 fight. Yeah. Um, I was leaning towards Gail before. Um, after watching Hunt um, do the open workout, I'm... I'm I, I really don't know. Yeah. I really why, don't why were know. you leaning why? towards Gal originally? Um, I, I just thought of statistics. Um, yeah. Even though this, even though um, Hunt has been in the sport for so long, this is boxing. Yeah. And it, it's not MMA. Yeah. And the fact that Gallon has had what nine fights. Yeah, he's put together a pretty decent resume. He's, now. he's more experienced yeah. in the in the boxing world yeah. than. Than Hunt. Yeah, it's funny so to say in that. My, I, yeah, yeah, in my eyes, I thought because of that and the age, yep. the fact that he's what 38 and compared to 47, I think every year after the 40s it makes a big difference and there's a decline. So I thought due to that fact, but watching Hans the other day, he's looking he powerful. looks impressive, man. Yeah. And the fact that he's fit and the yeah. look on his face and he's hungry, yeah. um, is Gal the same? I haven't seen I haven't seen the way Gal's been training or anything, but the way Hunt was training, he's hungry. Yeah, and he man. wants to win. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. Me and Luke, you said after we had him in this morning, we're like, "Fuck, he's looking fit. Like he looks like he's in good shape." Yeah, he's Gail's going to be relentless. Probably like uh, your, your opponent says, going to try to get inside and try to block him from dropping those bombs. But that's yeah. that's easier said the than done. First, the first thing is, once you get hit, everything changes. Yeah, you know? yeah, I love that everything too. changes. So, look, everyone's got a plan until they get hit in the face. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see fight night. That's the, that's the whole thing about boxing. Is that's what makes it so fun. Hey, we're looking forward to seeing you, bro. Look, get in the ring, watch the, obviously the fight, fight before it, and uh, hopefully get to watch you train a little bit here and yeah. see if we can film a little bit and, yeah, and let us know, eh? Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me. Man. Thanks for having us, bro. I'm not getting in the ring with him, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kicking back, baby. What's up? Just watching.
Dot, bop, yeah, bop, uh, yeah. Done seen some within my lifetime. My light shine bright. Protect your energy from poison when a python strike. My first mistake was doing robberies on Nikon bikes. Watch my moves and I'ma show you what an icon like. Y'all let bygones be bygones, right? Your truce, bust your move. And if that touch your shoes, you better blast on them. And know my mama. I'ma get that cash on them, hunting on a dash on them, swerve. Born from the trench, you from the bird, the early bird. I'ma get this mother chicken. And if it ever got a problem, we can solve it on my mama. I just been itching to prove myself. I just pray throughout the struggle, I don't lose myself. No safety plaques or coat, I might shoot myself. They catching bullets like two Odells. And you gon' tell, but I can tell you about the time was going hard up in the paint. And I can tell you the other paint. Let me tell you, I can tell you about the time I had to drop a rank. And I can tell you that I did up off the drink. Let me tell you, I can tell you about the time I signed a deal for 20 bands and used that to get my brother out the can. Let me tell you, I can tell you about the time I had a penny in the Thanks, I'm just kidding, bro. Appreciate it.